As a gynecologist, the most uh, common thing that, a common symptom that I see and treat is chronic pelvic pain. So that's defined as any type of persistent recurrent pain that is in uh, the pelvis. Um, and the four most common conditions that we see include um, uh, gynecologic pain, which can include endometriosis, but there are a lot of other conditions uh, within the field of gynecology that can cause chronic pelvic pain, but that's one of the most common that we see. But uh, we also see other nine gynecologic causes. Um, these include irritable bowel syndrome, um, as well as painful bladder syndrome, um, and probably one of the most common but underdiagnosed conditions includes uh, musculoskeletal pain, so pain uh, what we refer to as uh, pelvic floor myalgia, um, but it can also include, you know, musculoskeletal pain in the abdominal wall and in the low lumbar uh, area in the pelvic region. Um, so these conditions often commonly overlap. Um, many of these conditions are diagnosed almost entirely based on symptoms and excluding other uh, pathology. Um, uh, and so having a high suspicion based on symptoms is, is you know often what we look for. So, for example, in endometriosis, the cardinal symptoms of endometriosis are is having painful periods. Women often also describe daily pelvic pain, so they have pain all of the time, but then their pain gets worse with their periods. And another cardinal symptom is, is that these women often uh, suffer from uh, experiencing significant and severe pain with uh, a vaginal intercourse. Um, and those are the cardinal symptoms, but women often will have many other symptoms like abdominal bloating and discomfort, pain with urination, pain with bowel symptoms. Um, unfortunately, currently, the only way that we can diagnose endometriosis is by surgery. Um, there are a lot of um, exam findings, phys uh, symptoms, as well as imaging findings that point to a high suspicion of endometriosis, um, but really these only um, are the, the primary way to diagnose it definitively is by surgery. Um, painful bladder syndrome is a condition which patients report pelvic pain, but often experience also urinary urgency and frequency, sensation that they have to urinate all of the time, but often, um, uh, even if they empty their bladder, they still feel the urge to go. Um, uh, these patients, you know, we generally need to exclude other problems like kidney stones or bladder cancer or infections. Um, but, you know, once you exclude those other types of inflammatory causes or um, neoplasias, um, that the diagnosis is really made entirely by uh, symptomatology. Uh, and then irritable bowel syndrome is one of the many different functional bowel disorders that is characterized by abdominal uh, pain, but also some type of change in bowel function, either uh, pain with bowel function or change in the frequency and consistency of uh, the bowel function. And again, like many of these chronic pain conditions, we need to make sure we're not missing another problem like uh, cancer or an inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis or um, something like that, but once those conditions are uh, excluded and the patient has pain and a functional change in their bowel habits, that makes the diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome.